Welcome viewers to this segment of online lectures. In this segment, we will try to know about brown algae belonging to division Pheophyta. Pheophyta is a group of eukaryotic multicellular photoautotrophic organisms belonging to kingdom plantae domain eukarya commonly called brown algae it's a group of autotrophic multicellular organisms belonging to class Pheophyce in the division Pheophyta it is nowadays included in chromophyta because of colored thallus the algae belonging to this group contains xanthophyll pigment called fucoxanthin which is responsible for brown color in addition to xanthophyll it also possesses chlorophyll a and c hence the members of pheophyta exhibit a characteristic greenish brown color so far as the characteristic features of this group of algae are concerned first all members of this group are marine seen in oceans where the salinity of water is 3% different from freshwater habitats most forms grow attached to rocks or similar other substrate by development of certain mechanism for anchorage some members of this group grow either as epiphytes or as endophytes remaining in association with other algae there is marked variation in vegetative structure of brown algae which ranges from minute forms to very large algae having a length of 100 meters sargassum is the best example of this group which grows to a length of 100 meters and a sea has been given name after it as sargasso sea any animal that gets trapped in sargasso fails to come out and therefore dies and decomposes within the thallus the thallus in multicellular forms may have root like structures called rhizoids stem like structure called axis and leaf like structures called phylloids there is great morphological variation among different genera in this group there are also various ranges of heterotrichous forms starting from simple heterotrichous individual with the gradual disappearance of heterotrichous condition being replaced by very elaborate development of aerial portion with the prostate region being reduced to rudimentary structure the structure which is rudimentary serves the function of anchorage growth of the thallus may be apical or by intercalary cells exhibiting trichothallic growth cell wall of each cell is composed of two layers the inner layer is cellulosic made of unbranched thread like structures of beta d glucose polymer whereas the outer layer is composed of a mixture of pectic material and algin pectin is a heteropolysaccharide made of galactose arabinose and galacturonic acid whereas algin is a phycocolloid which has 
commercial importance for being used in the preparation of adhesives and artificial silk. In general, the cells are uninucleated, vacuolated, and bear one to several chromatophores whose shape and position in a cell is extremely variable. The chromatophores play a role in photosynthesis and contain pigments like chlorophyll A and C. In addition to chlorophyll, there are carotenoids which include carotenes and xanthophylls. Carotenes are yellow, xanthophylls are brown. Xanthophylls are dominated by a brown pigment known as fucoxanthin. Fucoxanthin also dominates all other pigments and is therefore responsible for brown color in brown algae. Due to the presence of this special pigment which is nothing but a mixture of carotenoid pigments, fucoxanthin A and fucoxanthin B, the chromatophores are colored brown. In some members, the pigment xanthophyll is absent. Reserve food is most frequently seen as laminarin, a group of dextrin-like polysaccharides. Besides laminarin, there may be present a hexahydric alcohol called mannitol and some amount of fats or fat-like substances. Some brown algae are sources of commercial iodine as they store iodine in their cells. Some members are used as fertilizers so far as reproduction is concerned. Brown algae reproduce vegetatively as well as sexually. Vegetative reproduction occurs by fragmentation of the thallus and other means. Breaking of thallus into small fragments is a very common feature. Each fragment undergoes mitotic division in its cells that leads to the formation of new daughter thallus. Sexual reproduction involves complex mechanism of formation of sex organs and gametes. Many members included in this group reproduce asexually by forming biflagellated zoospores or non-flagellated tetraspores which develop in reproductive bodies called sporangia. Each zoospore bears two unequal flagella which are inserted laterally and sometimes near the posterior end. Zoospores swim in water for some time and then rest Loose flagella undergo mitotic division and give rise to new thalli. So far as sexual reproduction is concerned, sexual reproduction in brown algae ranges from isogamy through anisogamy to oogamy. Isogamy involves fusion of two gametes having identical shape and size. In anisogamy, the two fusing gametes have identical shape but differ in size. The female gamete is larger called macrogamete and the male gamete is smaller called microgamete but both the gametes are flagellated. In oogamy, male gamete is flagellated but the female gamete is non-flagellated called oogonium. Sexual reproduction involves formation of sex organs, gametogenic meiosis, syngamy, 
zygospor formation, zygospor germination, and formation of the uthali. First, formation of reproductive bodies. Reproductive bodies are formed on main thallus through mitotic division. The thallus is usually deployed and therefore reproductive bodies possess diploid cells. The diploid cells undergo gametogenic meios and give rise to haploid gametes. Gametes are liberated into water. They swim in water and infuse and give rise to zygote. Zygote remains in water and then may become inactive to produce zygospore. When favorable conditions approach, this zygospore becomes active and starts directly mitotic divisions to produce new thalli for repeating the life cycle. The number of female gametes in an oogonium may be 1 to 8, whereas the number of anthrozoids is numerous. Anthrozoids are either uni or biflagellated. Except few, all the members of the group are characterized by possessing distinct alternation in generation, which in most cases is isomorphic. In some members, it is heteromorphic. The zygote resulting from the fertilization undergoes mitosis and produces the diploid individual called sporophyte, which depending on species may or may not resemble the haploid individual morphologically. In such cases, meiosis takes place at the sporogenesis in the sporangia. Moreover, there are other brown algae in which the plant body is diploid and the haploid condition is represented by gametesomy. In such cases, reproduction involves a reduction division during gametogenesis in gametangia. Life cycle is either diplontic or diplohaplontic. Now, phylogenetic relationship of pheophyta. The pheophyta form a well marked taxon. not very closely related to other algae. The nature of swarmers suggests that pheophyta possibly arose from flagellated unicellular organisms. This group is often considered parallel to chlorophyta in the nature of plant body and in the method of reproduction. Although the individuals have evolved multicellular reproductive organs and a higher type of vegetative body. The best examples of this group are Fucus, Alva, Sargassum, etc. Let us see Fucus as an example. Fucus is a genus in Pheophyta found in intertidal zones of rocky seashores almost throughout the world. The thallus is perennial with an irregular or disc shaped hold fast or with heptera. The erect portion of the thallus is dichotomously branched or subpinately branched. It is flattened and has a distinct midrib. Although it is not true midrib, it is midrib like structure. Gas filled nematocysts called air vesicles are present in peers in some species, one on the other side of 
midrib like structure. The erect portion of the thallus bears cryptostomata and secostomata, which are sterile surface cavities. The base of thallus is called stipe due to aberration of the cells on lateral surface. The reproductive bodies develop in the thallus as gametangia. They are born in cavities called conceptacles in the apices of final branch. They may be monoecious or dioecious. These algae have a relatively simple life cycle and produce only one type of thallus which grows to a maximum size of 2 meters. Fertile cavities called conceptacles containing reproductive cells are immersed in receptacles near the ends of the branch. The main plant body is diploid called sporophyte. Therefore, reproductive organs are also diploid. And within diploid reproductive organs, haploid gametes are produced through gametogenic meiosis. This meiosis occurs in Ugonia and Enthridia. The gametes produced are released in water and therefore fertilization is external as in other algae. Fertilization leads to formation of zygote and zygote directly grows into diploid plant body through mitosis. It may be considered to be analogous to the life cycle of the flowering plant. But in algae, the oogonia are released and fertilized in. See, while in flowering plants, the ovules are fertilized while attached to the parent plant and then released as seeds. So far as distribution and ecology of the fucus is concerned, species of fucus are recorded almost worldwide. They are dominant on the shores of the British islands. They are seen in northern coast of North America and California. They occur as brown thalli on the sheltered shores in well-defined zones. This is all about today's lecture. Thank you.